Now we're going to move into the third video in the muscle building basics series. And this is arguably the most important of the three, but we had to start off with uh, rep ranges and exercise selection because that information is what you need in order to build upon to get to here. So today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about sets, training splits, and MRV, which is maximum recoverable volume. It gives you the information to develop a very solid fatigue management strategy. Why is fatigue management important? Because, and this is probably the most important thing to get out of this video, you can only train what you can recover from. What is MRV? MRV is simply put the most amount of work that you can do after which it becomes unsustainable. So like, no matter how much you eat, how well you sleep, even how much pharmaceutical intervention you take, there is an amount of work that will eventually crush you because you're a living thing, you're not a robot. Even a robot, right? Like gears rust, pieces and parts need to be maintained, things fall apart, okay? Entropy is fundamental to how the universe works, all right? Okay, so where to start with MRV? A good place to start if you're a beginner and you haven't really felt your body out yet is I would start somewhere between 10 and 40 sets for everything. So that's like all your pressing, all your pulling, all your leg work, right? What are some factors that would affect your MRV? Well, remember, stress is accumulative and it all goes in the same pot, which is you. So life stress, work stress, travel, being sick, all these things accumulate and then your lifting adds to it and you can only train what you can recover from. So for instance, I've said on earlier videos this week in the channel that I've reduced my lifting volume significantly because work's been very busy for me and I've been traveling even more than I usually do. I've been traveling almost weekly now and next week I'm gonna travel twice, three times in one week. So. I've reduced my lifting volume and even my conditioning volume, that's how busy I've been, in order to accommodate the additional stress because I don't want training or work to crush me. I have to make time for both. Okay, so with that portion over with, let's talk about splits, okay? So there's kind of three ways to split up your body parts and we're talking purely hypertrophy here. There's a lot of different ways to train depending on the specificity of your objectives. If you're a thrower, if you're a weightlifter, if you're a crossfitter, if you're a tactical guy, there's a bunch of different ways to train, but we're just talking about muscle hypertrophy, okay? Building a bigger, stronger muscle through increased cross-sectional area, right? There is pushing, pulling, legs. So you split it up three ways. So everything involved in pressing, so your delts, your triceps, your chest, uh, pulling. So that includes your biceps, your forearms, rear delts, traps, lats, so on and so forth. Uh, and then legs. Legs can also include a lot of the back musculature like the spinal erectors. Another option is an upper lower split. So you just kind of get everything from the waist up uh, one day and then everything from the waist down another day. Okay, so then your other option is full body where you just kind of like pepper it throughout. So you, you generally, like when I talked about exercise selection in the previous video, you wanna do the hardest things first. So generally your big pulls and your squats, your, your, your lower body movements are probably gonna be the most taxing. So you might wanna start with those if you're gonna do full body. So hit your squats or your deadlifts or your uh, classical lifts like clean and jerk and snatch first. Then maybe move into like a row or a heavy shrug, something like that. Then you're pressing and then finish off with like some arms and calves, the ash and trash. Let's talk about times per week for each of those splits. Now push pull legs kind of uh, organizes itself nicely into a regular work week. So you could just do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then uh, take Tuesday, Thursday, and the weekends off to recover. Um, or you could do a higher frequency, 
So you could do like Monday through Saturday. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, push pull legs, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, uh, push pull legs too, and then just kind of flip flop them. So you could go like push legs, pull, push, however. Uh, but essentially you would do six times per week. If you did that, you would reduce the per session volume to accommodate your MRV. That's why I started with MRV because at the end of the day, how you arrange your training doesn't really matter in so far as you stay within your MRV. Like it does matter in a certain context because order of operations is important, right? You wouldn't, for instance, um, you know, do a bunch of curls and then try to one around your deadlift when your grip and your biceps are smoked. You might tear a bicep that way. Order of operations matters, but the more important thing is that you stay within your MRV and you organize uh, your, your volume and frequency, how often you train things and how much you train uh, within those confines. Upper or lower, same deal, right? So you have two things, you could do upper lower, you could do upper one day, lower another day, and then take five days off. Like you could do upper on Monday and then lower on like Friday, right? If it takes you a long time to recover, if you really smash yourself on each of those days, or you could do them twice a week, right? You could do upper like Monday, Wednesday, lower Tuesday, Thursday, and then take Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Something like that. Again, just as long as you fit it into your MRV. And then same thing with full body. You could do full body once a week and then just call it quits and not lift the rest of the week. You know, if you do like a everything to failure, heavy duty type approach. I don't recommend that because it's a huge fatigue cost. However, that is one way to do it. Another way to do it with full body is since you don't particularly hit each body part with a very robust stimulus, you might want to increase the frequency. You might want to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday because you might only do like A press, A pull, and squat. So you might want to do that three or four or five or even six times a week so that with an increased frequency, you have a high fidelity of signal to grow. That being said, again, it has to fit within that MRV because you can only train what you can recover from. In terms of sets, I would recommend that you do something like two or more and something like five or less, okay? There are exceptions to this, but we're talking about muscle building, hypertrophy, okay? Generally, just one set, unless you completely go like Dorian Yates, Mike Menser, forced reps, completely to just obliteration failure, one set's probably not gonna cut it. You know, even for a very experienced lifter that really has a good mind-muscle connection, usually like the first set is right when you start to like kinda get into the muscle, and then the second set is really where the magic happens. Uh, MRV, maximum recoverable volume, the most you can train before it becomes unsustainable. I recommend starting between no less than five sets, or sorry, no less than 10 sets per week. Uh, that's really on the low end. Uh, if you're like brand, brand spanking new to lifting and as soon as you touch a weight, you're just like painfully sore for days. Err on the side of caution and start on the low end. So that's all I got for video three. More to follow. There's volumes of material one can go into on this. People have entire PhDs on this. Um, it's been 28 years and I'm learning new stuff about this every day. But with that said, hope this was useful to you and uh, stay in the fight.